Welcome to Conversations with the Empress. I am the Empress. So, funny story today. I actually went to the smoke shop to pick up a few things. My favorite smoke shop. And um, when I was leaving there, I walked out and I smelled all this wonderful smelling food. Like, it just smelled great. But there's so many restaurants right there. I didn't know where it was coming from, so I didn't know what to choose. And it's in like a Turkish, Lebanese, Syrian, Mediterranean type of area. So there's a lot of those restaurants there. So I went back in the smoke shop and asked the guy what restaurant would he recommend. And so he told me about this place called Darna. Darna restaurant. Funny thing about this restaurant is that you can only go there and eat or pick up a order. They don't do DoorDash, they don't do Uber, they don't deliver, okay? And a lot of times those type of restaurants are really good. I've never eaten here, so I'm getting ready to see right now, but it smelled good, people were nice. Um they had the typical Turkish uh type of menu um which I already showed you guys. But so what I ordered today is the falafel and the hummus with chicken shawarma and he also gave me a complimentary container of pickles and olives and mint lemonade like it's like slushy minty lemony mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. yes very refreshing for those of you who like to drink goes perfect with like shot of vodka shot of tequila if you're me shot of bombay gin you know don't pour it in there though because it melts it down if you drink it on the side yeah get your little swerve on okay <laughs> so you know customary in turkish mediterranean type places they always give you these pickles and olives Mm -hmm. I love an olive with the pit. I didn't always. But olives with the pit taste the best. These are definitely good. Who doesn't love a good pickle? Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Those are good. I can almost see having those with like some cheese or something. I'm on cheese cake. Okay, so these are falafels. They are little fried bundles of vegetables, all different mixed vegetables. You hear that crispiness as I pull it apart. Inside, green like veggies. And this is like some type of tahini sauce, I believe. Don't ask me what tahini is. I just know it tastes good. Hmm. I like that. They're like super crunchy on the outside. I want to try without the sauce. Hmm. I've definitely had better falafel. Although, it's not the worst falafel I ever had. It's very crunchy, which is good. Soft in the middle, which is good. But it doesn't really have that much flavor. You can tell that you're eating something fried. And it's not it's not meat. But it doesn't have as much flavor as some other falafels that I've had. Mm. 
the crunchiness, the texture is doing it for me, but it just really doesn't have that much flavor, unfortunately. But you can hear. The crunch. I love texture, so you already know. Falafel. Huh. I'll get out about a 7 out of 10. The texture and the crunch definitely saves it. It just needs more flavor for my personal liking. Pickles and olive, 10 out of 10. How you gonna mess up pickles and olives, though? So, let's try this pita. Oh, I like these pitas because these are the thin ones. I've been to places and they're really thick. I definitely love a thinner pita. Um, they're just easier to maneuver. You don't feel like you're eating as much bread. Sorry, let me wash something down with these little lemon mint. Excellent for cleaning the palate. Okay, now... This is hummus with chicken shawarma. Shawarma. <laughs> Just like that word. I don't know. It's one of those words that makes me giggle. Um, I'm going to try some of the hummus by itself first. Without the shawarma. Without the shawarma. Because I want to taste what this hummus is working with without that. Yes, all the hummus feels I need, the nuttiness, the creaminess, the richness. Yes, hummus by itself is delicious. That is a plus. Because sometimes when you get hummus with chicken shawarma, they'll make the chicken shawarma excellent and the hummus tastes like garbage. So you need the shawarma to save it. This does not need the shawarma to save it. 10 out of 10 on the hummus. Now let's see what's up with this shawarma. <laughs> hmm. I might need a little assistance with this one. Okay. So let me get some of this shawarma and some of this hummus. Okay. Now, let's see what it's really all about. Because I know a place that has really good shawarma with hummus. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That is hitting on all levels. Okay. Chicken is cooked perfectly. That seasoning on there is hitting. Very sweet, savory, not spicy. It mixes right in with the flavor of the hummus. Mmm. 10 out of 10 on the hummus and shawarma. So, the only thing that I wasn't really feeling was these falafels. But I still gave him a 7 out of 10. Y'all need some seasoning. You need to season whatever you frying. Like, that's my only complaint. The texture y'all got down pat. But it's virtually... The flavor is unidentifiable. Like, it tastes like nothing. But I put some of this hummus on it. <laughs> now it tastes great. <laughs> that hummus is outstanding. Okay, so. Now that I've tried all these wonderful Mediterranean goodies. My final score. Mmm.
Oh, that oh that mint lemonade is everything. So, sorry, I was caught up. My final rating for Darna Restaurant is a nine out of ten. Okay, people were really nice. Nice clean restaurant. Food is delicious. Falafel. Mm, okay. Y'all can work on that. Get you some salt and pepper and a little bit of seasoning. Throw that up in there. Y'all be straight. But overall, I'm definitely enjoying this. And I'm about to 100% kill it. Not all of it, but <laughs> most of it because I'm hungry. And um, I will definitely be back. So, Darna, <laughs> you did the darn thing, okay? 9 out of 10. I'll be back again. I am literally like in heaven right now. Yes. Mm. Yes, sir. hey yo thanks for watching my contact information is below please go like share and subscribe to my youtube channel your support is as always appreciated if you want to show that support with them dollars though throw your girl a cash app you feel me until we meet again smooches mm.